Hello there, I'm on the banks of the mighty Mississippi River in the city of New Orleans in the deep south of the USA. We have had tornadoes passing through this region, would you believe, in the last few days, but the real energy is taking place just a few blocks away at the Siva Swine Symposium. And this really is the launch of the swine business proper here in the United States. It's really the, the most important element for SIVA is people. And uh, we've been out telling our story. Um, we've attracted the top talent, I think, from the industry, both from a technical service standpoint and from a sales, point, sales standpoint. Um, technical excellence is priority number one for us. We will lead with science. You have seen that we have uh, today a bigger and bigger companies and they are, I think, not really able to, to listen to the customers, not really able to react quickly to what is happening. That's why we are moving on the custom vaccines. Not necessarily able to provide uh, equipment. Uh, it's important to have a good product, a good vaccine, but the way you deliver it, the way you inject it to the animal is critical too. So it's what we would like to provide uh, to, the, to the producers and to the vets. Uh, we are a, a vet company driven by vets, and I think it helps us to, to better listen to our customers. One of the great aspects of an event like this is that you're able to talk to people at the grassroots level, the pig producers, either family companies or larger integrated producers. And I've been asking them what the issues in swine are here in the US and what they're looking for from an animal health company. I think it's always important for any supplier uh, to really understand the strategic goals and the direction of the companies that they're working in. And then they can start uh, providing solutions to those, uh, uh, to those issues that uh, the companies have. May not even be an animal health solution, but uh, it could be maybe a vaccine uh, or management uh, change or those sorts of things that could help us achieve our goals. Okay, I think it's great to see who's going to introduce themselves or have more products in the United States because I think we need competitiveness with the other companies. We need products that are safe and easy to train people how to use and um, would, would look forward to some of those new product offerings that you'd have. From my perspective, um, I think our producers look at, um, just as they look at veterinarians as partners in the production process, I think they look at their animal health companies that way also. Um, that it is truly more than just a sales purchase arrangement. arrangement. It's really about, um, some would say value added, but how do you bring information technology to the marketplace to help assist producers as they manage um, the production of, of uh, swine production. I think one of the things that SIVA seems to do very well and have the right attitude about is they understand that we need to use vaccines as appropriate tools and that means understanding the timing of when the immunity occurs and the sequence of vaccination are necessary to make an immune response that will support the body's attempts to regulate disease process. One of the things that hasn't really been mentioned at this meeting much but is something I work on a good deal is that most diseases that we really have problems with in food animals are caused by multiple agents acting at the same time. We don't always handle the cascade of those agents as best we could. And I think that's where our vaccine work has to go and that's why what I'm talking about today is offering a different viewpoint on what's going on. What we're really doing is we're launching SIVA and we want to introduce the swine producers, swine veterinarians, the U.S. market to our organization. But what we're going to tell our people is first, let's listen. Let's pay attention to what the producers are telling us so that then we know how we can best help them produce quality protein. So the first thing we're going to do is open our ears and pay attention. So with many more swine products coming to the market in the not too distant future, it's both an exciting time for the swine team within SIVA as a whole, but particularly here in the United States. This is Nick Wood from New Orleans saying bye for now.